Do you sometimes get scary images or pictures stuck in your head? We're gonna talk all about that. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a child therapist and I make videos for kids with anxiety or OCD. Today I wanna to talk to you about images or pictures that get stuck in your head. That's actually quite a common issue with both anxiety or OCD. And you might see something really upsetting or disturbing and you can't get that image out of your head. Or maybe you accidentally watched a preview to a horror movie or your friends told you something or you saw an advertisement or commercial, or maybe you watched something and you're like, man, I shouldn't have watched that because now it's stuck in my head. How do you get that out of your head? What do you do? Well, it's a little bit different if it's anxiety or OCD, but we're gonna talk about both. So if you have an image that's stuck in your head, the worst thing you can do is try to not think about it, to try to be like, oh my gosh, I can't think about this. Let me just try to get it out of my head. Because if I said to you, hey, Try not to think about a white elephant. I mean, like, just try not to. You know, it's white and it's got pink polka dots, super cute. I would love it, but try not to think about it. Did you think about it? Of course you did, right? Because the brain can't stop itself. The brain's like, I'm not allowed to think about it just a little bit, right? It's just like when you say, don't touch that. And you're like, just, I gotta touch it. It's just so tempting. So same thing with your brain. So the more you try not to have this image in your head, the more you're gonna have it. So what you want to do is actually stop fighting it. You want to accept that image in your head. Your brain needs to sit with that image. And so a lot of times, depending on if it's anxiety or OCD, but actually probably for both, I print out the image with the kids that I'm working with and we look at it. And a lot of times we kind of make it silly. So with my kids, sometimes we'll get funny mustaches and we'll put it on top of the image or we'll put a big red nose on it and we'll silly it up. And then I'll post it everywhere. So I might put it on the mirror where we're in the bathroom. I might put it as a screensaver on my phone. I wanna see the image everywhere, but I wanna see it in a new light. And if it was a scary movie or a scary character, a lot of times I'll go on YouTube and you might wanna have an adult do this for you so that you don't come across something even scarier, but I will find a tutorial of how to, how did that makeup happen? So if it was a scary, spooky character, I might find a tutorial, and that actually happened to my son recently. He was scared of something that he saw accidentally, and it was a character from a horror movie. And so I found a tutorial on YouTube, and I showed him, here's an average guy, and then he was putting the makeup on, and then at the end he looked really scary, but it took all the power away from that character. So talk to an adult if you're a kid and find, have an adult find a video for you that's appropriate and that's another way to get the image out of your head. When you overlay the image with something kind of silly, it's hard to not see that silly image on top. And so that's a good approach when you're having some struggles to instead of fight the image and try to get it out of your head as quickly as possible is to accept it and make it silly. So I hope that tip helps, and I hope that you find a sparkle in everything you do, and I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care.